and welcome to today's video. Sorry for my uber greasy face. It is 80 something degrees here in Indiana and my central AC does not want to work. I have a window unit going in one of my bedrooms and the temperature on that's reading about 81 degrees. So it is hot and humid on the upstairs of my house where my room, my bathroom, everything is. So my face is greasy. I don't have my glasses on because they keep sliding down my uber greasy nose greasy nose. Anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about my hair. So the reason I'm doing this video is because here in the next couple of days, I'm going to get a massive haircut. So I have the style that I want in mind, but I'm not going to be telling you guys what it is because I want it to be a surprise. So yeah, we're going to be talking about my current hair care routine. So this is my hair. This is my natural hair and whatever it wants to go on. So I've mid length hair and it's got choppy layers all throughout it. Um, they're kind of overgrown at the moment. It's been about since November since I got my hair cut and it's grown maybe two inches since then. My hair grows really, really, really fast. So um, if I wanna keep up on a hairstyle, I have to go often and I haven't been because of quarantine. So anyway, so I'm gonna get a haircut, something that I've never done before. But in the meantime, I wanna show you what I do for my hair care routine because my hair is very, very healthy. So I have naturally thick, coarse hair. Um, and it does go on the drier side from mid shaft or mid shaft down and kind of greasy at the roots, but I can usually get away with going three to four days between showering before I have to wash the rest of my hair as long as I use some dry shampoo. Um, so this is the hair care routine I do every time I shower and then one of the products I use to style my hair. Um, so yeah, by the way, I've only dyed my hair once in the past seven years and that's because Brad Mondo reviewed this e-salon thing and I really wanted to try it, but the hair color, the hair dye they sent me was identical to my natural hair color. So it's only been, you know, altered by dye once and even then it didn't do much. So it is what it is. So before I hop in the shower and get my hair nice and wet, these are the current shampoo and conditioners I use. In fact, it took me a quite some time to find a shampoo and conditioner that my hair agreed with. I used to have to switch my shampoo and conditioner every few months because my scalp didn't agree with something. And I've been using these, sorry, my little light went out, uh, for the past two years and my scalp hasn't reacted and my hair loves it. So it's the Garnier Fructiste Whole Blends and the Honey Treasure Scent and my hair loves this stuff. I actually just started incorporating conditioners back into my hair care routine. I used to just wash and then use um, like a leave-in uh, conditioner or some hair oil, but I just started using the conditioner again because my hair is getting a lot drier and it's kind of agreeing with the conditioner more. I have been trying to find stuff that is sulfate, paraben, all sorts of all natural ingredients, but my hair doesn't agree with them. I did try, it's right behind me, let me grab it this um, shampoo by Not Your Mother's because I love the Not Your Mother's brand, but my hair didn't like it. It does say it nourishes and moisturizes. My hair did not like it and it took me like a week and a half to get through these bottles. So I'm gonna stick with my Garnier Fruity Stole Blends. Anyway, so I'm going to hop in the shower and get my hair wet. I'm actually doing this in conjunction with another video I'm filming. So if my outfits look the same, that's why. But yeah, I will be right back after I wash my hair. Um, I don't do anything fancy when I wash my hair. I just take, put some shampoo and conditioner in my hand and like kind of chop it in half, scrub up here, scrub underneath. I know that gives a little more volume and I have a lot of natural volume as is, like do that with my hair and you can see it. So I already have a lot of natural volume, but because my hair is so thick, if I don't do this kind of maneuver, I don't get as much of my hair clean. So yeah, anyway, I will see you here in a bit. Hi guys, I'm back. I washed my hair. I did my skincare routine and I tend to leave my hair up in a towel for 15 to 20 minutes after I get out of a shower. Like I mentioned, my hair is very thick, very coarse. So it takes forever for it to dry. Um, so when I come out of the shower, I don't rub it or anything. I just flip my head over, wrap it up in this towel and that's it. So I'm going to take it out and there's my damp hair smells delicious. So these are the products I use for my hair um, root, 
I switched them out. That's the word I'm looking for. So tonight, these are the two products I'm going to use. So this is the Whole Blends Repairing Leave-In Miracle Nectar. And I use this specifically like on the tips of my hair and then the lower midsections. And the stuff, it smells amazing and it does its job. It has a bunch of stuff that it does. I'll link it down below so that you can read up on it. Um, so I just take a couple squirts. And I will flip my head over and put it on my head like this and I scrunch it, scrunch it up. I don't use a lot of this product because it does tend to build up on itself. So just a nice bit. And I scrunch it like this. Any of the waves that I have, it will loosen them up so it doesn't turn into curls because I don't want to. And then the second product I'm going to use is the Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner by Not Your Mother's. This stuff is amazing and I love it. So I just spritz it all over. It also detangles. I don't have too many issues with knots. And that's everything I do for my nighttime routine. So I don't brush my hair when it is wet. I'll brush my hair before I get in the shower. I use this brush. This is just a wet brush that is very old and I need to replace it, but I don't want to because I love this thing. Um, but I won't brush this until probably in the morning. Um, because it's going to take quite a while for it to dry. So some of the other products I like to use on my hair are these. So this is my favorite um, hair oil and it's also by Garnier Fructis, and it's also the whole blend and this is a soothing oil in the coconut oil and cocoa butter scent. The reason this is a coconut oil instead of this, for one they don't make an oil in this line and for two my hair, my skin, let me reset, has a lot of issues when it comes to scents. Um, so some of the scents I can use are coconut. And I hate the smell of coconut. But this works really well. I use it just like I do on this one, mainly towards the midsections and ends. Um, but if I use this, I do not use another product with it because it is an oil and it tends to build up fast on my hair and make it greasier. Another product I like to use, and I use this particularly for styling, or I sometimes do like, just a quick, and it is the Not Your Mother's All-in-One Protector. Um, and some of the stuff it does is detangle, shines, and it's a heat protectant. So I will use this as a heat protectant. I used to use the Tresemme one, but I'm not too big of a fan of that one anymore. And then last product I is this, the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is actually in a really, really big container because I saw it at Walmart. And this is in the Divine Darks. So this is still too light for my hair, but it blends in nicer than the regular Batiste and it's my favorite. So yeah, guys, that is everything for my skincare, my skincare, my hair care routine. I will probably just give you a glimpse of what it looks like when I wake up in the morning. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you today. I will see you guys next time.